So you can see the bite right there. Rabbits have been my biggest problem for these trees. See, leaving them a little bite right in here on this piece. A little nibble right there. And then, just yesterday, I had a branch coming out right here. It looks like they ate that one. They've ate that one. And they've eaten this one right here. They cut that. They've been my biggest problem since these trees have been put in. So I'm gonna work on getting something to, actually, I'll work on something to guard these off. And you can actually see the branch that it bit off right here. You see, it's actually this way, I believe, right there. See, it's it perfectly right there. Just like that. And this is the branch that it bit off. It's kind of irritating me, so I'm gonna block this off. So they bit off three, one, two, three potential leading branches. Um, actually four, probably, if I were to keep this one, but um, if I were to keep it dual, but you see that? But I'm gonna work on that so we can get that fixed ASAP. Dark rabbits. This tree has been an issue with some rabbits getting to it. Is it the issue or is it the rabbits? More the rabbits. Look at this. I'm biting these branches. They're going to be future runners potentially. And unfortunately, now I'm only left to three runners unless these begin to branch off. And so. Like I said, unless these begin to branch off right here, but now I'm only left with three main trunks right here. So that is irritating. So I have a solution and the solution for these rabbit bites will be to cage it up similar to my blueberries. So I'm gonna get that. Then I remove this guard so that I know rabbits won't be able to get to it. And then expose the branch more to some sunlight for the growth and development of this plant. So I'll go ahead and do that here in a little bit. But let's get started and I'll show you the after because I'm on my phone. So I got some leftover mesh wire from my chicken coop, my chicken run I should say. That I'm going to put in a circular position and go around there. And I'll explain more once it's done. Went ahead and removed it. So now we have the trunk. And then you can see it looks like maybe I, well, they even dug into the white tree guard and bit that piece, which probably explains maybe this one right here somewhat. I don't know. Anyways, I know I got three branches. Um, so these ones are here. And then this one right here and I've just been putting the rest over here just kind of keeping track somewhat to see maybe if they would take root so here's another one I stabbed in the dirt here's another one I stabbed in the dirt ah, it's irritating and this right here is the one that I have for the pear tree so oh yeah you can see right here the pear tree right here for the tag this is what I have built for caging up right now I just have some twine a little twine right here put on there until I get some of my metal wire which I don't think I have enough right now so I'm going to just use this right here and then I'll use some of these green garden sticks to help anchor it down a little bit more and bury it around some of that mulching right there to kind of keep it tight and then put it in there snug so that the rabbits don't try to sneak underneath too so get that in there actually standing about as tall as the plant itself all right so this stands about uh, three feet tall two and a half feet or so yeah, about four feet three feet i can't tell you anyways <laughs> anyway so that looks a lot better so i don't think any rats will be getting to there um i tried to use my hammer to jam down 
the dirt inside of there. But instead, I just grabbed this other log that didn't burn in my, from my fire pit and just press it down in there to kind of give it a tight seal down there. And I'll probably come back and put some more wood mulch on the inside. I got a couple more bags of mulch that I have for some of my other trees and some other projects that I plan on using it for. Anyways, I think that looks pretty nice. And then my blueberry one, which the rabbits were eating at too. And then my other peach tree, which I'm gonna take this off, the guard off and begin to do that one as well. You can see that they bit right here as well, right there. And before they bite any more off, I see I have three leading branches. So, so one, two, so one, two, and three. Those are my leading branches. And then I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the other one here. So there you have it. I have this peach tree covered. It's looking pretty nice. I'll throw some more wood mulch in there. You got my blueberry bush. It's my blueberry high bush covered from the rabbits and my other peach tree covered to protect from the rabbits. Thank you everyone for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's video. We are grateful that you watched to the end. We have a very special announcement. We wanted to let you all know that we recently launched our very first course aimed to help those with limited space to have success. We structured our course to help students in a way that takes the fear and guesswork away. And don't worry, if you have more than enough space for a garden, this course can be of use as well. You can check out our website and get a free gift. Also, you can register for our paid course where you will also have access to over 20 downloadable PDFs that will be beneficial in your gardening journey. Our link to our website can be found on our YouTube page. Don't miss out and wait to start your garden that you can start today. Blessings.